Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day I made a video with using the artistic media tool for a brush stroke. And somebody commented on the video today and said, why don't you break the text apart? And I'm not 100% sure what they're meaning. But I started thinking about it. And this would be a pretty cool way. And that is a pretty cool font. It does look like feathers. So you would just, I would pick a thick font. And she even suggested impact. And that's what this is. I've just haven't done anything either to the text. It's still impact. But I just took the fill away and got an outline. So I'm going to take my smart fill tool. I'm going to fill in that side of the A. I'm going to cursor it down one step. Then I'm going to left click, right click. And then I'm going to take my feather and I'm going to just kind of get it close to the shape. I'm going to mirror this one the other way so it kind of looks different. And just kind of see what it looks like. And then I'm going to take that feather. I'm going to go to range. I'm going to go to power clip. I'm going to place it inside frame. I'm going to grab, whoop. I'm going to grab this one. Go to range, power clip place inside frame. Then when you take and double click on your, well you can left click or right click on your, make it black which it already was and double click on here and then make it let's say a point and a half and make it scale to object in case you make it bigger and smaller. But that's pretty cool looking symmetrically and I kind of messed up because I didn't make a duplicate of that. So control D, control D, make a few of them, move it back, whoop, control D. So that's enough for the next project. Then we can go here, arrange, power clip, place inside frame. Now with the B, I broke it into three parts. So I'm going to power clip or smart fill it three different times. Well, I didn't draw a line there. I did, but maybe it wasn't far enough. Grab that line and make it longer. Actually put it maybe in the middle too. Now we use a smart fill tool to fill in that. Cursor it down, fill in that, cursor it down. So now I've got that letter B into three different parts. I'm going to left click. Well, I'm going to select it all left click, right click, and then I've got three feathers because I need three parts. So on this one I'm going to mirror the other way and I'm going to go to arrange, power clip, place inside frame. Now I'm going to do the same thing to these two and maybe have that one like that but mirror this one the other way and maybe mirror it both ways. Go to Arrange, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame. Click on that. Range, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame. That's pretty cool. And you could play around with that. And like all Power Clips, you can edit it and um, take it out. Let's uh, edit the Power Clip and you can see the blue lines and then you can kind of move them around. And then when you're done, just click on done and then once you took it and made your font a thicker line let's say one and a half points scale with object just in case you make it bigger and that's pretty cool that looks like feathers the breaking up of the font does help a little bit uh, to form the B and so the feather just doesn't go through it because they're different. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.